Hello, Algebra 2 students. Today we're going to be covering the Unit 3 activity. Um, so let's go ahead and go over that. It's going over uh, rational um, expressions here, or rash radical functions, sorry. Um, let's take a look at what we're going to be doing here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So if you're not there on the activity, go ahead and go there now. Basically, this is, this is the activity here. Um, here's an introduction. You can read that if you want, um, but yes. All right, let's just get to it. The cylindrical water tank on a semi-trailer has a length of 20 feet. The volume of the tank is equal to the product of pi the square root of the radius of the tank and the length of the tank. Let V represent the volume of the tank, R represent the radius of the tank, and H represent the length of the tank. Okay. Let's put all the unanswered here. So, um, what we want to find, create an equation that could be used to find the volume V of the cylindrical tank. So. We kind of went over, over this already, but basically the volume follows this formula. It's pi r squared times h, okay? Now h is basically the length of the tank. So in our case, it told us the length of the tank was 20 feet. Okay, so 20 feet, that's our h. That's the length, or in other words, if you stand it upright like this, cylinder like this, it's the height of the cylinder. So that's why it's H, because it's really like the height of a cylinder if it's standing up normally. Okay. And you could imagine this cylinder if I just like um, rotated it, right? Can I rotate this? Yeah. If I rotated it, right? Then this 20 would be the, the height, right? But yeah, 20 which is our H. So the formula that we're going to have here for our volume is H will be 20. So we'll write it as 20 in the front though. So 20, which is our H, times pi R squared. Pi R squared. So that's going to be our formula here. It's going to be V equals 20 pi R squared. So we're going to go ahead and put that right here. So capital V for volume equals, and it'll be 20 pi, so that's this symbol right here, and then r squared, so that's a lowercase r, and then to do the squared, you see this little like superscript thing, click on that, and then squared, like that. All right, hopefully no questions there. Question two, or part B, rewrite the volume formula to create an equation that can that can use used a to calculate the radius r of the water tank yeah i think that's a typo somehow okay drag the terms to the correct locations in the equation not all the terms will be used okay so we got a bunch of terms here they're going to go in this formula so but notice it says r equals and it says square root something so what are we going to do well basically we want to take that formula that we have here the 20 pi r squared and we want to solve for r. So our formula right now is v equals 20 pi r squared. I'm going to go and throw the v like this. v equals 20 pi r squared. Now, if I'm going to solve for r, I want to get r by itself. What I would do is I would notice it's the 20 times pi times r squared. So what we're going to do is divide by the 20 pi to cancel it. So since these are multiplied, you cancel it with division, okay? Pi by 20 and the pi. And whatever you do on the left side, you have to do on the right side, vice versa. So divide by 20 pi. So now we have v divided by 20 pi equals, and then what's left on the right side is r squared. So let's go ahead and do that. So we got v over 20 pi. equals r squared. So now, 
How do we get r by itself? Well, we need to get rid of the squared. So in order to get rid of squared, you square root. So that's where the square root part comes from. So this will be r, since the square root and square cancel. And then on the left side, what we have is the square root of v over 20 pi. And that's it. Not too bad. All right. Square root of v over 20 pi. Okay, part C. Graph the radical equation that can be used to calculate the radius r of the tank. Use the lowercase r and the uppercase v when entering the equation. After the equation has been entered, set the value of pi to 3.14. So, how do we use this graphing tool? Well, what we're gonna do is go to relationship. And usually, I don't even use any of these, except I always use custom. So if you use custom, it basically can do all this stuff and more. So I always just go to custom whenever I'm using this tool. And uh, let's see, V equals, and it's gonna be that, it's gonna be the formula we just came up with in part B. So that's R equals, and then it was the square root, and there's a fraction that says square root, right? So it was V over 20. Let's see if that works. Okay. Now, notice pi, they didn't give it a value here, but we know pi, they want us to, they want us to put a pi value of 3.14. So 3. How do we do this? I can move this to three. Point one, not three hundred fourteen. Three point one four. Okay, so this tool might take a little bit of trying, but what I ended up doing was I put three hundred fourteen. I put three hundred fourteen, and then I put the decimal in between the three and the one, and then that created the graph here. And so now you can see here's the graph. Um, so what does this graph tell you? Um, basically, um, with a volume of one, this gives you the radius here. Volume of two gives you a radius here. So as you can see, as the volume increases, so does the radius here. Um, and we can maybe, is there a way to zoom out? Yeah. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and zoom out a bit. Um, yeah, it's too much. As you can see, maybe it looks about like a radius of 11, or sorry, a volume of 11 would have to have a radius of almost one half, you know, and so forth. But you could see it's kind of like forming this kind of very slowly sloping shape, um, just like that. Yeah. All right, cool. Now using that, suppose the cylindrical tank has a radius of 12 feet. Use this information and the equation modeling the radius of the tank to complete these statements. The volume of the water tank is about blank cubic feet. Okay, so it's one of these options. So 12 feet is the radius. So what we're gonna be using is, we're gonna be using this formula here to find the volume. So it's volume equals 20 times pi times r squared. But in this problem, they're saying that the r, the radius, is 12 feet. So we're going to just go ahead and use this formula and replace the r with 12 because they're telling us the radius is 12 feet. Okay. So what would that look like? So it would be v, the volume, equals 20. Pi r squared is what we had, 20 times pi times r, which in our case they said the radius was 12. And don't forget that 12 gets squared. Okay. Now, which part of this should I do first? Should I multiply the 20 times the pi or the pi times the 12? Or should I do the 12 squared? Well, hopefully you see you should be doing the 12 squared because when you follow the order of operations, you always do exponents first. You do exponents first. So we want to do 12 squared. So that means 12 times 12 
Okay, so that's 20 times pi times, well, 12 squared, that's 144, right? 12 times 12. Okay, now we just multiply those together. 20 times 3.14, we'll say, times 144. All right, hopefully you got 9,000 and change. And there you go. Hopefully you got 9,048 or something close to that. Okay. Uh, I noticed when I used 3.14 for pi, I got 9,043.2. Maybe you got something similar. But if you um, use pi to more decimal places, you'd probably get a more accurate result. Um, like, let's see. Uh, so here in this calculator, I'm going to use just the pi button, which basically will give me mul many, many decimals of pi. So 20 times pi times 144. And this one uh, rounded to the nearest whole does give me 90 or 9,048, rounded to the nearest whole number. It says 9,047.786, so on. But rounded to the nearest whole number, that'd be 9048. 90, 48. Okay. And um, that is that activity. So, not too bad. Hope that made sense. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. My email is ttrigg at ofy dot org. That's ttrig with two g's at ofy.org. All right. All of that, take care.